Kristen Welker, my, my colleague. Uh, he said this, I'm expecting they'll say, we're done. Uh, that's his sense of where we stand in this investigation. Give me yours. Uh, so, David, uh, happy Thanksgiving to you. And, you know, when we hear Giuliani say things like, you know, we're not going to answer any questions that we deem irrelevant or unnecessary, I think what the American people should hear is that the president's not going to answer any questions that they deem incriminating. And, you know, it becomes pretty apparent when I look at this from the perspective of a former career prosecutor what Mr. Giuliani is trying to do here. Um, when we hear that they won't answer questions about, for example, obstruction of justice, that is plainly because the president would be boxed in by such questions. For example, Mr. President, did you participate in drafting the narrative on Air Force One of what happened in the meeting at Trump Tower between your son and your son-in-law and the Russians? If the president were to answer Yes, well, now he has admitted potentially to obstruction of justice. If the president answers no, he has probably um, earned himself a false statements charge. So it is pretty transparent that the reason that um, the president's defense team is not letting him answer questions about obstruction of justice is because he would be boxed in, he would incriminate himself, and it really has nothing to do with an exercise of any legitimate executive privilege. Glenn, in that interview, uh, Rudy Giuliani said that if uh, the questions are reasonable, if they get replied to this question,